Hello and welcome. I'm Erica from the British Society for Immunology and I'm back again for another Q&A about COVID-19 vaccines and pregnancy, fertility, breastfeeding and periods. I'm joined again by Dr Vicky Mayo from Imperial College London, who's a BSI member and a reproductive immunologist. So let's just get straight into it. Question number one. In the UK, we are now offering the COVID-19 vaccine to all pregnant people. What is the new guidance? Catching COVID while you're pregnant increases the chance that you'll need to go to intensive care, that your baby will be born early, and that your baby will need to go to intensive care. So we're keen to protect pregnant people and their babies from COVID. And from the 16th of April, the guidance is that all pregnant people should be offered the COVID vaccine at the same time as they would if they weren't pregnant. So, for example, if you're a healthy 32 year old who's pregnant, you'll be called for your vaccination at the same time as all the other healthy 32 year olds. But there is one difference, which is that pregnant people will be offered the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines in preference to the AstraZeneca vaccine. And the reason for that is just that we have lots and lots of data from the USA and Israel telling us that the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are very safe in pregnancy. We do have our own data showing that AstraZeneca is also safe in pregnancy, but there's just less of it. But if you are pregnant and you've already had your first dose of AstraZeneca, then the guidance is that your second dose should also be AstraZeneca. Question number two, what is the evidence that it's safe to be vaccinated for COVID-19 during pregnancy? In the USA and Israel, they've been vaccinating pregnant people since last December. And in the USA, they've now vaccinated more than 110,000 pregnant people. They've been looking very carefully for safety signals using a number of approaches, and they haven't found any pregnancy specific problems associated with the vaccines. One of the best studies on this tracked nearly 36,000 pregnant people every day for seven days after they had had each dose of the vaccine. And then they also tracked down almost 4,000 of them to do a longer term follow up. By that time, 712 of them had given birth to healthy babies. And among the rest, although some did have pregnancy problems, the problems were occurring at the same rate that they do in pregnant people who are not vaccinated. It's also worth saying that people who get vaccinated while they're pregnant pass antibodies through the placenta to their babies. And we expect these antibodies to give your baby some protection from COVID-19 after it's born. Question number three, what is the advice for women who are trying to conceive? If you're trying to conceive and you're called up for the vaccine, you can have any of the three vaccines that we're using in the UK, including the AstraZeneca vaccine, if you're in one of the age groups where that one is being recommended. I think it's also worth saying that although there have been lots of rumours that COVID-19 vaccines might reduce fertility, we actually have good evidence from the clinical trials and from studies done on IVF patients that they don't. And that big tracking study from the States also looked at people who'd become pregnant after they had been vaccinated. And there are nearly 5,000 of those just in that one study. So there's no problem at all with getting the COVID-19 vaccine if you want to become pregnant in the future. Question number four. What is the advice for people who are breastfeeding? If you're breastfeeding and you're called up for the vaccine, you can have any of the three vaccines that we're offering in the UK, including the AstraZeneca vaccine, if you're in one of the age groups where that one is being recommended. The vaccines don't get into your breast milk, but the antibodies that your body makes do. And again, we might expect this to give your baby some protection against COVID. Question number five. Some people have reported having different menstrual cycles or bleeding after the COVID-19 vaccine. Is this a common side effect? And what does that mean for fertility? Some people have reported this and we don't yet know if it's a common side effect. Work is being done to find this out. But what we do know is that there are some other vaccines like the HPV vaccine and the flu vaccine that can cause short-term changes to people's menstrual cycles. The changes are short-term though, and these vaccines have no effect on fertility. So we expect the COVID-19 vaccine will be similar. The final question. We know that there's a rare side effect with the AstraZeneca vaccine that involves clotting. And people that are on the contraceptive pill, pregnant or have recently had a baby, are also at risk of blood clots. Does the AstraZeneca vaccine put these people at even more risk of clotting? People who are at higher risk of clotting for hormonal reasons, like being on the pill or being pregnant, don't seem to be at increased risk of this rare side effect, which is called vaccine-induced immune thrombotic thrombocytopenia, or you can imagine why for sure we say VIT. Uh, and we can say this for two reasons. 
Firstly, it doesn't seem to be the case that the people who have been unlucky enough to have this rare side effect happen to them are more likely to be on the pill or on HRT or pregnant. We also know that the mechanisms that cause clots associated with sex hormones are completely different from the mechanisms that cause clots associated with VIT. Sex hormones increase the risk of clotting by increasing the expression of clotting factors in the blood, whereas in VIT, we see specific antibodies binding to platelets and activating them, and this is what causes the clots. So for this reason, if you're on the pill or on HRT or you've just had a baby, the advice is that you can have the AstraZeneca vaccine if you're in one of the age groups where it's being recommended. If you're pregnant, actually, we don't think that the AstraZeneca would be harmful for you. But since we have more safety data on Pfizer and Moderna, that's what we recommend for vaccinating during pregnancy. Great. Thank you so much, Vicky. Thank you for those brilliant answers and presenting all the latest information that we have around this topic. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye.